Am I the asshole for kicking out my mother and disabled sister out of my home? I'm 21 F. I own my own place. I have lived here for a while now and I loved my own peace living by myself with no children or a spouse. My mom, 41, wasn't the best when I was growing up, she would bring men in and out of the home. I'm glad nothing happened to me but it gave me a bad view for her once I grew up and not a good relationship along with it. I have a sister, 22, who is disabled, physically and mentally. I grew up with her but it was extremely hard to form a relationship with her. I had to take care of her a lot growing up because my own mom wouldn't do any of it due to my mom wilding around. My sister and I shared in room growing up and I hated every second of it if I'm going to be honest. My mom has been renting for a place to live and few months ago she cannot live there anymore. My sister still lives with her and my mom doesn't take care of her actively she pays for a caregiver. My mom guilt tripped me and her and my sister living with me temporarily, for a month. I eventually said yes. It was fine for the first few days. My mom and my sister have been living here for now three months, my mom only said one month. I have to work a lot so I'm barely there anyways, but when I have days off I hate every fucking second of it. I know my sister cannot help it but she makes noises, a lot of noises, loud noises and it's like I can hear it everywhere. The caregiver still cares for her, but it's like having complete strangers in my home. Long story short on my day off, of hearing everything and the noises and tantrums. I went insane and snapped. I told my mom she has to leave. She refused to leave at first but eventually she did. The last thing she told me was, you're supposed to be grateful that I gave you a home to live in, and you can't give that back? You're a bitch and always have been. I eventually told her to just leave and my mom got my sister and they both left. I feel like I'm the complete asshole because of the fact that I told her to leave just because I was tired of my sister, even though she cannot help it at all. Am I the asshole? Edit thank you all for taking the time to comment. I have no new news about my mom or sister, I haven't spoke to her since she left. I haven't been able to reply to comments because I have been insanely busy today but I just now read most of the comments. I appreciate it and I started crying at some comments because they hit a soft spot for me. I appreciate the comments you guys left, thank you heart. Edit to those who are asking me about how I have my own house at 21. I was given a lawsuit settlement, for undisclosed reasons that is a whole different story unrelated to this one. When I was 19 and I knew a particular person who was selling a house for cheap, so I snagged it. I would say it was a unlucky lucky situation. Edit 3 I will be speaking to someone soon for my sister's behalf. I haven't ignored this whatsoever or forgot. I am going to try to get my sister the proper care that she needs from someone or a place who does know how to do that. I do not want to take care of her anymore. Nearly half my life was doing just that. Just a last final edit. She does not need to stay with our mom. Not the asshole she's taking advantage of you. I understand you want to help but keeping that toxicity in your life is going to make you hate them even more. You have a good thing going and you deserve to be happy. It's not your fault she flaked on her responsibilities as a parent. I hope this doesn't sound incredibly cruel, but if your mom can't take care of your sister properly why isn't she in a place that can? Not the asshole. 1. The moment someone proclaims that you must be grateful, their claims to your gratitude end. 2. She said she'd be around for one month, she was around for three. You've borne what you said you would and more. You have your own life to live. Your mother doesn't own that. The only part of this that sucks is that your sister is obviously innocent. However, you didn't agree to permanently take care of her. You've given the help you can, and if you're at end of your rope, you'll probably end up being an ineffective caretaker anyway. People who are at their wits end don't take good care of others for long, that's just reality. Edit. Autocorrect problem. Not the asshole. Your mum clearly is being lazy and negligent of her duties as a parent. You didn't ask to be brought into this world. Therefore you owe her nothing and she owes you everything. As for your sister it's good that you recognize she can't control making those noises, but she really needs somewhere to be if you can't stand having her with you. Your mum clearly won't do anything, so maybe look into a charity or something. Not the asshole. You gave her a month, she took three. You aren't obligated further than that. It sucks for your sister but it doesn't sound like your mom was trying to help the situation in any way. Not the asshole, your house, your rules. It's as simple as that really when emotions aren't involved. Not the asshole lot of people like to be the holier than thou, saying that you are a monster, you should understand, they would never do something like that but it's hard. It's hard and not anyone got the right ability and patience for care for people with problems. 
It's not a sin, it's normal. You grew up with responsibility you shouldn't had and now you feel free and it's reasonable you won't to go back, especially with a mother like that. I hate the, but I rise yo, well, you know, you choose to have child, it's not like your fault if she had to give you a home, plus probably she would have not leave if you haven't chase her out. So, not the asshole, your home, your peace. NTA. Change your locks. Not the asshole. Your mum treated both you and your sister poorly growing up and it seems she hasn't changed her ways. I work 40 plus hours a week, so on my days off I like to just rest and distress. Having constant noise and someone who is almost a stranger in my home would put me on edge and wind me up too. The only thing is by kicking them out. Do you know if they have anywhere else to go? Just for your sister's sake, because her disability is no fault of her own and sounds like she wouldn't be capable of sorting her own living arrangements. Should probably just ensure she is safe and will be looked after still. Am I the asshole for calling my wife's friend out for how she treated our waitress? A little background. My, 23M, wife, 22F, has a friend who she has known for around 10 years, and who I met during high school. We got along pretty well in school, but over the years she has become much quicker to anger, snaps at every little thing, and has on several occasions screamed at my wife for wanting to spend time with me at home rather than go out to the bar. Despite all of this, my wife has stayed friends with her, and I understand why. Isolation over the past year had been hard on us, and my wife was not able to see many of her friends as much as she used to, so having contact with her longest friend again has been something she wants to keep. The event that caused this specific issue happened a few days ago. My town had its annual Jubilee Parade, which is a huge occasion and generally brings in massive crowds for a rodeo, downtown party, and a big music festival at the end of the weekend. This also means every single restaurant is absolutely packed to the brim. My wife and I met her friend at one of the restaurants in town, and it took only around 30 seconds for said friend to snap at one of the hostesses for not seating us immediately. There weren't any clean tables yet, and it took only about two minutes to get a clean table, but even as we sat down the friend was already rolling her eyes and the hostess and waitress and complaining. It took around 10 minutes to get our drink order in, which again the restaurant was absolutely packed. When the waitress came by with our drinks, the friend berated her for taking so long, but shut up once we put our food order in. We get our food about 20 minutes later, and things are quiet as we're eating. However, my wife's friend began to criticize the waitstaff for how long they were taking to do things, and saying things like, I've worked in the food industry, you wouldn't see me making people wait this long for their food and drinks, and generally putting down the workers in the middle of a rush. The tipping point for me, ironically, was when we were leaving, and I was leaving behind the tip for our waitress. I went higher than usual, somewhere around 55% of the bill, because our waitress looked incredibly stressed and tired. The friend, seeing me putting the cash down, asks in a very snarky tone, why are you tipping at all for such shit service? I should mention that the waitress was standing right there the whole time. I went off on the friend for this, telling her she needs to stop acting like a child, and expect everyone to treat her like the center of attention. She seemed to get very embarrassed by this and left the restaurant immediately, and my wife went after her. Later that night, my wife came up to me and said that while, yes, the friend was being obnoxious, I shouldn't have called her out publicly, as I had embarrassed her in front of the whole, packed, restaurant. I feel like I might be the asshole for calling out my wife's friend publicly, instead of approaching her in a more calm manner privately after this took place. Not the asshole. She doesn't want to be called out publicly? Don't act like an asshole in public, then. Problem solved. Good on you for supporting hospitality staff. Please don't take this the wrong way, but sometimes someone needs to step up and be an asshole to an even bigger asshole. I used to treat waitstaff like your GF's BF, though not nearly to that degree. I was dressed down, in public, by my GF. I deserved it. Sometimes, public humiliation is the only way to get through to someone. Not the asshole. Not the asshole she doesn't get embarrassed when she's calling the staff out. Not the asshole. But it was fine for your wife's friend to try and embarrass the waitress? Maybe the wife friend will think twice on how she acts in future if she knows someone will call her out on her shitty attitude. Not the asshole. You made the waitstaff there so happy by calling her out and kind of defending them. Her behavior was already embarrassing and humiliating, she just didn't realize it. If she acted like a reasonable adult then maybe she wouldn't have needed to be called out at all, but that's not the case. 
I'm worried about your wife and why she would let this person stay in her life while not addressing this behavior. I know they're old friends but that sounds so exhausting. Not the asshole anyone who treats a waitress like that is automatically an asshole. Not the asshole. If she can dish it out publicly, she can take it publicly, too. About time someone said something. People like that don't usually respond to a private talking to. It takes them experiencing the same sense of shame or embarrassment they inflict on others, to finally get it. Hopefully she has time to reflect later and thank you for it. But that's probably overly optimistic lol. Not the asshole people like this need to be called out on their behavior. I hope your wife gets some better friends. Am I the asshole for making my husband clean his mother's vomit? I'm a Psalm and my husband works in a demanding industry. Our deal has always been that I do all of the cooking and cleaning, he works and does the yard work, and we split parenting evenly. We have never had an issue with this. Also my mill and I do not get along. It is a very strained relationship, but I never wanted to put my husband in a position where he had to chose, and unless she extremely crosses a line, I don't want to break up a family. One of our issues with Mill is she will not eat my food. She isn't a picky eater at all, and will eat pretty much anything else, but if I cooked it or put it together, she will not touch it. Honestly this does bother me, because it is so rude, but like I said I don't go looking for drama with her and my husband defends me as need be. Mill, her husband, and their 17-year-old came over the other day for lunch. My husband has forbid Mill from bringing her own food, because he feels she just does it to be a bitch, so Mill will just sit there and not eat. Mill and my husband ended up getting into a fight over it and he said she can't say she doesn't like it if she doesn't try it. They can both be very stubborn and he ended up saying he would go no contact with her if she didn't try a bite, which I know he was bluffing, but Mill made a show of bracing herself and took one bite. I would like to think she did this for attention, but I don't think you can make yourself do this. She projectile vomited all over the table. When she stood up she puked some more on her husband's shoes and herself, and then she became hysterical. Her husband brought her outside but she had a full-blown panic attack and was sobbing and just could not be consoled. I was concerned about Mill, and mainly about my four-year-old because he is very attached to Mill and this was scaring him. Sil was screaming at my husband that she hates him and will never talk to him again. Mill finally calmed down a little and I offered her a shower and a change of clothes. She seemed really embarrassed and would not come in the house, but used the hose and had a shirt in her car. I was focused on calming my son down and my husband was focused on Sill, but by the time they left it hit us that our house is now covered in vomit and someone has to clean it. I said he should clean it because he caused this mess and she is his mother. He said I should because that is our deal. I refused and threatened to take our son to my sister's until it was clean. We ended up at a standoff for about an hour, and he was more focused on Sill. They are very close and she was still saying she hated him through text and that she will never talk to him again. He texted his stepdad and said he needed to come and clean it because she is his wife, but SFIL did not take that well and said some nasty things. Finally I said he could clean it or we would leave. He cleaned it but he has a little bit of a weak stomach and was gagging. When he finished he was upset and wanted space and ended up sleeping in the guest room that night. This is a wild story start to finish. Why does your mill hate your food so much to begin with? Why would you invite someone over for lunch who has a policy against eating your food? How and why, in God's green earth, would a single bite of your food, unless it's literally rotten or poisoned, cause huge projectile vomiting? What in the world? Not the asshole but there's some family therapy to get to because y'all are living in some kind of alternate reality. Not the asshole. He caused this problem, he can literally clean it up. Esh. The mill for obvious reasons, honestly, she is physically repulsed by your food. What the fuck is that? I need more information on how she is aside from the food issue, but this won't change my judgment. Sill for being immature. You and your husband for even arguing over who cleans it. It should be a team effort. This is not a hill to die on. Unless one of you is extremely squeamish to the extent that vomit also makes you vomit, it shouldn't even be a discussion. Esh. You all sound insufferable. This is such a strange story. Does she have some kind of allergy? Some kind of mental illness? How could someone intentionally projectile vomit everywhere? I don't know what to make of the story. But as for cleaning this up, I think you both should have done it together. Everyone sucks here your husband was standing up for you. Your mill vomited out of anxiety. It's gross but you should have all cleaned it up together. I can't imagine vomiting in someone's house and not helping to clean it up. 
I can't imagine my spouse vomiting in someone's house and not helping clean it up. And I can't imagine there being a huge mess like that and leaving my spouse to clean it up by themselves. And for it to sit there for over an hour? Gross. Everyone owes everyone apologies, except you don't owe an apology to your mill. She sounds like a drama queen. Not the asshole. He fucking brought that on himself by starting a war with Mill. Literally could have avoided that if he just swallowed his pride, and let her bring her own damn food. Info. Have you ever asked why she won't eat your food? I mean that exactly, the direct question, not hinting and not through a chain of people. Am I the asshole for considering asking my biological father to walk me down the aisle at my wedding? The background to this is pretty long, sorry. When I was 14 my mom told me that years earlier she cheated on her husband, she admitted it, and he forgave her. When she got pregnant with me, because of the timing she wasn't sure if I was her husband's baby or the guy she cheated with, edit, and she offered to terminate. Her husband didn't want to hear it and said he just knew I was his baby because he could feel it. He raised me as his daughter and apparently was in complete denial of the possibility that I wasn't biologically his. When I found this out at 14 I insisted on a paternity test because it bothered me that I didn't know who my biological father was. As I'm sure you can guess, I'm not his daughter. I knew he would be upset but I thought since he'd raised me as his own for 14 years his feelings for me probably wouldn't change too drastically or for too long. I was very wrong, he went totally cold on me, he told me I wasn't allowed to call him dad anymore and insisted I called him my stepfather, he barely even spoke to me despite living in the same house. About a year later my mom divorced him because she was so fed up of him treating me like an unwanted stepchild and she saw how much it was upsetting me. I didn't hear from him for years, but he stayed in contact with my siblings, who are biologically his. The whole thing messed with my mental health pretty badly for a long time. When I was 19 I got in touch with my biological father, Edit, who didn't know my mom was married or got pregnant, and I'm now pretty close with him and his kids. About a year and a half ago my stepfather and I started occasionally speaking again. We have a civil relationship now, but he still clearly doesn't see me as his daughter. I'm 26 now, and my wedding is coming up. I invited my stepfather out of politeness but I wasn't really sure whether he'd want to come. He texted me saying he was okay with coming but he didn't know if he was comfortable walking me down the aisle, which was very presumptive. I told him that was okay because I was actually considering asking my biological father to walk me down the aisle, which is true, but maybe wasn't the best thing to say there, because he got very angry, saying my biological father didn't raise me and didn't earn the right to walk me down the aisle. I feel like the guy who's been making an effort to have a relationship with me since he found out about me does have more right than the guy who stopped caring about me 12 years ago. But my stepfather is insisting that it's an insult to him that I want my biological father to do it even though he isn't sure he wants to do it himself. I acknowledge that it's a complicated situation because he did raise me for 14 years and I do understand why he would have a problem with the guy his ex-wife cheated on him with. However I think he sort of lost the right to decide anything about my wedding 12 years ago. Sorry for the very long post, but anyway, lay your judgments upon me. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole sorry this happened to you. He had every right to be upset at your mother but to behave toward a child the way he did is inexcusable. Plus as always, it's your wedding so what you want. You have been completely and utterly failed by your mother and stepfather. He was understandably devastated when he learned that he was not your biological father, but his response was to take it out on you. He didn't just abandon you. He rejected you but stayed married to your mother. Your mother is the one who caused this. He probably rejected you because you are a reminder that his wife cheated on him. This guy doesn't even deserve the title of stepfather. For your own well-being, consider going no contact with this guy. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Step, dad seems awfully petty now considering how he turned his back on you. Your bio dad sounds like the much more logical choice considering how you were rejected. Instead of projecting his anger on you, he should have realized you were innocent of your mom's infidelity, but he chose to target you. I wouldn't worry about inviting him as he hasn't been in your life for some time. Not sure how your siblings reacted to this since he stayed involved with them, but hopefully they understand why and don't give you a hard time. Best of luck on your wedding day that it goes without drama. Not the asshole. I don't know if I want to do it, but he definitely doesn't get to. That's not how this works. You decide who, if anyone, you want walking you down the aisle. 
Your stepfather should have no expectation that after walking away from the job of raising and supporting you before it was done, the position of dad would still be there waiting for him unchanged with all of its privileges intact. But at the very least, he's delusional if he thinks he can put you through all those fears of rejection again and make your wedding about him and his issues when there's someone you know would say, yes, without hesitation ready and willing to walk you down the aisle. Not the asshole he doesn't want to do it but doesn't want your bio father to do it either. What a asshole move. He's not interested in your well-being or happiness. So you need to be. The one he should have taken his anger out on is your mother. She's the one that did him dirty not you. Good mother or not there should have been a conversation about telling you with the person she cheated on i.e. her husband. Before she had it with you at the age of 14. NTA your wedding, your choice. I think you're all assholes. The whole thing messed with my mental health pretty badly for a long time. Sounds like it messed with his pretty soundly too. But 14 year old you got what you wanted and damn the consequences for the man who raised you. You are the asshole.